Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing well. Today I'm going to share the third video of our how to read series. And today's video is all about rhyming words. Rhyming words are really important if you want your child to read fluently. So we should spend a good amount of time in practicing rhyming words with our children. Rhyming words play an important role in child's phonological awareness. And you should start practicing rhyming words as early as they are one and a half or two year old. Um, as I mentioned in my previous video that at this point we are talking about oral practice. It has nothing to do with the letters. It has nothing to do with writing or reading. We are just practicing orally and this is a part of phonological awareness where child should learn to identify these different sounds within an object like the beginning sound, the ending sound or the middle sound. And in my last video I talked about the phonemic awareness. If you haven't watched that video I will provide the link of that video in the description. So make Make sure to check that video out first and uh, as I said before this is going to be the step second so in today's video I'm going to share a few worksheets few activities that uh, are free to download and uh, they are going to be very helpful to teach rhyming words to your children so now the question is what are rhyming words the rhyming words have same ending sound if there are two words that have same ending sound it means they are rhyming words they rhymes with each other again it has nothing to do with the spellings or letters we are just talking about the sounds so if two objects have same ending sound they are rhyming words so for example we have this hat so what's the ending sound of hat at now here child has to look carefully and find the object that has same ending sound that is at and match the object as I said before, you should start practicing rhyming words as early as uh, your child is uh, one and a half year old or two year old. So you have to help your child with the words. Don't expect uh, from your child that they should know all of these objects. Initially, you have to help them with the object name like this is hat, this is log, then pen then fan for first few days. You have to practice some activities like this log. So again, child will look carefully here or you can help your child with this is ten, pan, rat, bee, cat, dog. So log, dog. So I will suggest here try to stretch the word so that uh, they can understand these words. If you say log, dog, child might not understand these words. So you have to stretch the words like this is log dog if you stretch the word they uh, it's easy for them to understand so you have to repeat same thing for all the words and here i will suggest to start with the cvc words as they are uh, easy to say and they are just three letter words it's it's going to be easy for your children to understand these words and when they get hang of this concept like what are rhyming words then you can move on to other words like house tree then you can practice these kind of words also so i have few more worksheets here like for this circle the picture that rhyme in each row the concept is same here again you have to look at the picture this is star now child has to look here carefully and find the object that rhymes with star so this is boat car hat so car rhymes with star so you can download these worksheets free from our website i will provide the link of these worksheets in the description so make sure to check out the description love yeah, we are going to practice rhyming words okay okay now what is this cap yeah cap now look here carefully you have to match it with the object that has same ending sound as cap what's the ending sound of uh, cap App. Yeah, app. Now here, look carefully and match it with the object that has same ending sound app. Hmm. Cap. Hmm. Map. Very nice. Next, what is this? Boat. So the ending sound is? Oat. Oat, yeah. Goat. Very nice. Fox. Ending hmm. sound, ox. Box. Hmm. Cool. Duck. Ox. Hmm. Truck. Very nice. Bear. Bear. Yeah. Air. Circle the picture that rhyme in each row. 
So we have one object here. What is this? Star. It's not an object. It's a star in the sky. Yeah, it's it's. We can call it an object or picture or item. We can say. Let's say we we will call it a picture. Okay. Yes. We have a picture here. Mm -hmm. You have to look here carefully. We have three pictures Kai. here. Yeah. Wait, you know. We have three pictures here. Mm -hmm. hmm? Yeah. Now you have to look here carefully and circle the object that rhymes with star so this is car. star this is boat car so which object rhymes with star which is in the middle okay car you have to circle it cool now what is this a uh, bucket no we don't call it bucket uh, this is pail pail so again you have to check here what is this b yeah first start from here b yeah Snail. So what rhymes with pale? Snail. Okay, circle it. Now next we have? Frog. Frog. Keep on saying. This is? Rose. Hmm. Log. Tree. So what rhymes with frog? Major one. Yeah. So log. what is this? Log. Frog. Log. Next, what is this? Seven. Number. No, it's not seven. It's one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it looks like seven, but it's one. Okay. Okay. When, when one. Did you keep tie. Yeah. One. Hmm. One. Sun. Hell. Bat. First, sun. you have to say all three of this so that you can identify the sound. Okay. If you want, you can keep this worksheet in page protector and give dry erase marker to your child so that you can reuse these worksheets or you can easily create these worksheets at home. It's totally up to you. What do you have next? Feet. I. Fan. Beat. Yeah. So what rhymes with feet? Beat. Now we have one more worksheet here. Again, child has to look at the object, then identify the um, rhyming object here and color it. So this is going to be the activity one. Uh, practice these uh, worksheets for first few days, then you can move on to another activity. Now for the second activity, we have these rhyming cards. Again, I will provide the link of these cards in the description. They are uh, free to download. You have to take out the printout of these cards and then you have to cut out these individual cards. Like we are going to fold this in half. So if you want, you can laminate these cards to make them more durable. But Chia already knows the concept of rhyming words. Uh, so I just took out the printout to show you guys how you can play this activity. What is this love? Rick. Yeah. So Chia can easily read these words. But uh, if you are starting with your child, like if your child is 3 and 3.5, then you can help them with the name of the objects. So what is this? Sock. Cake. Snail. So, which object rhymes with rake? Mm, cake. Yeah. So, you have to yeah, put the clip. Yeah. So, these kind of clips are great for their fine motor skills and pencil grip. But if you don't have these uh, clips at home, you can simply use some kind of manipulatives. Say, like I have these Lego pieces or stones or beads. You can use anything. Cover the object that rhymes with rake. Or you can uh, you can use this. You can clip it. Yeah. So what is this? Frog. Hmm. Cap. Kite. Dog. So what rhymes with frog? Dog. Yeah. Literally dog. <laughs> yeah. You can cover it with yes. What yeah. is this? Clam. Kite. Ham. Cat. So what rhymes with clam? Ham. Hmm, nice. Next activity is this rhyming bingo. Now for playing this uh, game you need some kind of manipulatives and here we are uh, again we are using these Lego pieces. You, you can use anything that you have. Again it's totally fine if your child is unable to read this. You can help your child with the objects like you can tell them this is snail, this is pop, lock so it's totally fine if they don't know how to read it they can still play this game so now what you are going to do is uh, we have like you can see i have few calling cards here now i'm going to keep them like this i'm going to keep them like this and i'm going to pick one card at a time so what is this frog, frog. it's fog, frog. Baby. frog. 
Now you have to find an object that rhymes with fog. Okay. Log. Hmm. Good job. Now cover the object that rhymes with fell. Okay. You have to say it, love. Well. Hmm. And also there's one here which is. Oh fell. yeah, it's okay. It's okay. We will uh, do this mat first, okay? Okay. What is this? Tune. Hmm. Um, do we have anything that rhymes with tune? No. Chalo, uh, keep them aside. We will take out the other mat too. <laughs> yeah. Tune. Hmm. Can you say these uh, word names for me? Yeah. Snail, pop, lock, sing, man, moon. So moon? Tune. Tune, Tune rhymes with moon. Mm. But there is an E. No, love, I told you, you don't have to look at the spellings. You just have to focus on the sound. Mm. Next is try. What is this? Pie. <laughs> yeah. Try pie. Next is rat. What rhymes with rat? Cat. Hmm. <laughs> Cat it. Ran. Ran. Okay. Man. Hmm. <laughs> Think. Ink. 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 <laughs> hmm. I'll look at you, okay? King. Yeah. So you won this game. You won? Like we got this three in a row. If we get three in a row or this way or this way, you will win. This is again a great activity and I'm sure your kids are going to enjoy it a lot. Next we have this cut and paste activity. This is again a great activity for rhyming words. For this activity, what you have to do, as you can see, we have few objects here and we have some cut out pieces here. So initially, if your child is too young, you can help your child with the cutting part and just ask them to paste the rhyming pairs. But if your child is um, old enough to handle scissors, you can give a child friendly scissors to your child and ask them to first cut these pieces out and then paste them so you simply have to cut out this part this is ice so from the options which are here child has to look at these options and find a picture that rhymes with ice so dice so child has to give them glue and child has to paste it here so additionally if you want you can ask your child to color these it's totally up to you and when you are done doing this activity it will look something like this like sheep jeep bell well mouse house rug bug pin chin king ring duck truck rain chain so now i'm going to share printables for nursery rhymes nursery rhymes are great to understand the concept of rhyming so here i have few um, coloring pages for basic nursery rhymes so all you have to do is just take out the printout of these rhymes you just have to fold it in half Now here is the name, so this is going to be the front and you need to fold it in half again. Additionally, if you want, you can glue this part and then staple it together. But Chia is old enough to handle it like this, so I'm not going to glue it or uh, staple it. There is going to be a different booklet for every rhyme, like this is for Jack and Jill. As you can see here, Jack and Jill went up the hill. So Jill Hill. These are rhyming words. To fetch a pail of water, Jack fell down and broke his crown. Down, crown. These are rhyming words. So again, uh, nursery rhymes are a great way to practice rhyming. I will highly suggest to take out the printout of uh, these coloring rhymes. I'm sure your child will love to uh, practice these rhymes and uh, enjoy coloring through these pictures. So again, these printables are free to download and I will provide the link of these rhyming printables in the description. So, so make sure to check out the description 
question box. Sad. After some time, I will share a few games for practicing rhyming words. But for now, you have to practice these activities which I shared with you all. So I hope you found today's video helpful. So if you have any doubt or question, you can always ask me in the comment section. And if you found today's video helpful, then please give this video a big thumbs up and please share our videos with your friends and family so that they can also uh, get some ideas to homeschool their children, especially during this time when schools are closed. So I will really appreciate if you share our videos with your family and friends. So that's it for today's video. I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, take care and stay safe everyone. Bye.